So when you open the install file, you will first be presented with the license agreement when you're installing Crystal Dismark. The latest version is 8.0.4a. It's released under MIT license, so quite a short license, thankfully to read. You have to tick the I accept the agreement radio button to move forward, and then click next. It will ask you which folder you want to install Crystal Dismark to. The default folder is absolutely fine under most circumstances. Uh, if you click next, then it will ask you what you want to call the start menu folder. Crystal Dismark 8 is again fine. And if you click next once more, it'll ask you whether you want to create a desktop shortcut. That's down to personal preference. If you uncheck it, it won't create it. If you leave it checked, it will. It's checked by default. If you click next, then it will give you a review of everything that you have selected. Destination, location, start menu folder, and whether you want to create a desktop shortcut. When you're happy with those settings, you just click the install button. It will install really fast. It's only 5.2 meg, so it is really fast. And if you leave the launch Crystal Disk Mark 8 button checked, when you click finish, it will launch Crystal Disk Mark 8. It is a really fast application on your computer because of its low footprint. And then you are ready to benchmark any of your disks that you have. So we've got two disks here that are available for benchmarking and you can select your options below. Hope that helps. Don't forget to hit like and stick around for more Crystal Dismark videos.